So in this video, <coughs> excuse me, I had a few people ask me, um, what do you do, Mr. Brown, if you have to measure a piece of paper that's bigger than the ruler that you have? And my first answer, the best thing to do is to treat yourself. Get a nice ruler. So my two favorites are this. It's a clear plastic ruler and it's got measurements this way and this way. It's two inches wide and it's 18 inches long and I can measure vertical and horizontally. Or if you're gonna be cutting a lot of stuff and running an X-Acto knife along it, a stainless steel ruler is also a nice thing to have. This one's got a, a cork back so it's non-skid, it's flexible. So um, that's, that's the most ideal option. But let's say that you're not gonna be able to get out to the store anytime soon and you have to make do with what you have laying around the house. Um, here's a crappy ruler that I pulled out of. It, it, it's a hole punch and it clips inside of a three ring binder. So this is unfortunately for me only 10 inches long. So it's not even, it's not even long enough to go the short way across my paper. So I'm going to show you a trick. First, I'm going to get all the little bits of crap off from underneath my paper. So we've got a flat surface to draw on. So if you're working on your portrait and you need to make a grid, this is this technique that I'm going to show you is for anything, but I'm going to use, I'm going to, I'm going to use a one and a half inch grid to show you how to do this. So the first thing is I'm going to use the measurement part of this ruler but I'm not going to use this as a straight edge. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take a piece of paper, just a scrap piece of paper that I have laying around the house, and it's just it's an eight and a half by eleven. So even even this piece of paper is not quite long enough to go the short way across, but it will be if I fold it in half corner to corner whoops missed a little bit there but that's all right so now that is plenty long enough and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually fold it one more time, and even if I fold, even this, if this fold isn't, you know, if, if it's not perfectly straight, you know, this end looks like it's wider than this end, that doesn't matter. Because all I want is, I want this straight edge. And the reason I fold it is, I mean, I could, I could use just the edge of that paper, but I fold it and it makes it a little bit thicker so that my pencil uh, doesn't, doesn't skip over the top as easily. And if I wanna make my life a lot easier, I'll take a little bit of tape. And I'll just tape down. Hmm. Yeah, put a little piece here. Now I've got a measuring device and a straight edge separate. So my straight edge is separate than my measuring device. The nice thing about using a ruler that's big enough for the job is that your measuring device and your straight edge are all on the same tool. So doing it this way, it's gonna be a little bit, uh, a little bit extra work, 
but it's not going to be terrible. So if I want a one and a half inch grid going across, I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to measure one and a half, three, you can't see, four and a half, six, seven and a half, nine, and now I got to slide it. Oops. So I'm going to put my zero on that last little mark I made and then start the measuring over again. One and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, and then it ends. Oh, what did I do? Why did I get an inch there? Hang on. So that's one and a half. That's correct. That's it. Should be at three. So this is wrong. So it's one and a half, three, four and a half. Okay, so I, I said the right measurements. I, I measured everything else correctly. I just missed that one. So it's always good to double check your work. Um, so I've done that across the top. Now I'm going to do the same thing across the bottom. One and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half. Nine, except this time, I'm going to try not to mess it up like I did. One and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, nine. That looks right. Okay, so here's the trouble. If I would have done these measurements with one of these rulers, I could just use those like that. But since I didn't, I'm using this one. That's too short. That's what we made this for. So now I can use this as my straight edge. Now this works. on the short edge. However, I am going to run into some problems because it's not long enough to go this way. So imagining that I have all of my lines down, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this middle line in here and that is going to um, it's going to be my second set of measurements. So now again, if I were using one of these rulers, I could just make my measurements at the top, make my measurements at the bottom, and this ruler is long enough to connect those. What I'm going to have to do is make my measurements across the top, make another set of measurements across the middle, and then make a third set of measurements at the bottom. So let's do that. One and a half, three, four and a half, 
six, and I would go all the way across, but I'm going to stop at six because this is just a demonstration <clears throat> on how to use a little bitty baby ruler. One and a half, three, four and a half, six. So again, that's my middle point. <clears throat> and now I'm going at the bottom. One and a half, three, four and a half, six. So now, like I said, because I don't have a straight edge that's long enough to go all the way down, not even this piece of paper is going to work. I've got to go from here to here and then go from here to here. So that's what I'm going to do. And actually I'm going to use, I am going to use this plastic ruler. Am I? Make sure if you're using something like this, that's not really meant to be like, this is a hole punch slash ruler slash pocket knife slash whatever. Um, so not a whole lot of care has gone into making sure that this is a straight edge, but I, I feel a little bit of a bump here, but I don't think it's going to mess me up too much. So I think I'm okay to use this. I've seen rulers that are just awful for drawing straight lines. So there's that. And then I'm going to come down and do it again here. And that's now a straight line. So this time I'm going to start on the bottom half. Oops. I'm going to drop my pencil on the floor. Going from the top to the middle, and then from the middle down. So you can see that it's a little bit of extra work just because you have to slide the ruler, but it's really not going to take you that much longer uh, to do it this way <clears throat> as opposed to using a nice big ruler. And again, if you get a chance, um, put it on your Christmas list, put it on your birthday list. These things come in handy, uh, not only for drawing straight edges, but just for measuring stuff in general. They're, they're really nice to have around the house. I've actually got a couple of these laying around stashed in different, different nooks and crannies around the house. So, but that's how you do it. That's how you can get away with a smaller measuring device. If you use a piece of paper or any kind of straight edge, really, I mean, I've got some cardstock, over here, some, some pieces of cardboard, you know, I could have used, uh, that's a little bit too short, but, um, I think I got another, another piece, a big piece of mat board. Okay. It's dinged up on the corner, but I could have used that. That's a nice straight edge. Um, you know, a edge of a, a, a manila folder a file folder. You can use the, the spine of a, of a file folder. You can use really anything. Cut a little piece of a cardboard box. Anything that has a straight edge on it, you can use to draw a straight line. 